Welcome back, everyone. And again, sorry, no new Porsche for me this month. This is our first update and our initial wash of our all new 41 way ceramic coating sealants product longevity test. I expect this test, like my other long term tests, to last about two years, but we'll generally get a good idea of how things are going to last around the 6 to 12 month mark. If you haven't followed this series of three videos for the info SDS, the prep and setup, and of course the application of these products, I encourage you to go check those out. I'll leave a link in the description to those videos. I've spent an exorbitant amount of time and resources making this test possible for you guys. Products on this hood have been curing in our climate controlled shop for the last two and a half weeks since there are two products on here, the Apex products, that need 14 days for a full cure time and we made sure to give it that as I don't want to shortchange any of these products installed exactly as instructed. They all have a properly decontaminated, polished and prepared surface to adhere to. Some of my subscribers asked that I check the gloss readings again before I put this outside so I did the same with my new graphene coatings test that you saw yesterday. I checked every product but just picked a few here to show you that there was absolutely no difference in any of the products two weeks later after curing. That is, the gloss immediately after application is the same that you see here two weeks or two plus weeks later. I also have this really cool spreadsheet with all kinds of detailed information about each product, the chemicals shown in them and the SDSs, and if I, of course, if I, if I could get them, and the failure time of each. The product name is also a hyperlink that you can click on and it'll take you to where you can purchase them. If you're new to this channel and you're not familiar with these tests, I've been doing tests like this for the last six years now. This hood will sit outside of our shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week here in the East Texas elements. And of course we will wash and inspect it on a weekly basis for the first first month and then on a monthly basis until the last one fails. I do have other tests of different products running right now alongside this one, so please go check those out. These tests are not possible without your support. I'm purposely unsponsored because I promise to you that I will never accept money for a review. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into it. This is just our first rinse, no washing yet. So we'll zoom in here and see how things are holding up. Seafoam Fest finish looks like showing a little bit of signs of weakness. Again, hasn't even been washed yet. C-Quartz fine, C-Quartz professional. No issues there. Fortador Kevlar coating. That is the formerly $599, now $299 Kevlar coating. It's not, it's not uh, failed or anything, but you can see that the water is adhering to it quite a bit. Apex and DPC all doing just fine. Extreme Solutions Poly Seal, Nano Skin, all the Nano Skin products. Looks like they're doing okay. NGNT, the products from Switzerland, also doing just fine. I realized I skipped a row here. Meguiar's and all that above here. Glosset, Underdog, New Finish Ceramic Spray Coating. Everything doing really well. Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating, Drive Auto. Next three are Speed Wipe, ECP, and Owner's Pride. Not the same, but similar coatings. They do come in the same the same bottle, same looking bottle with that teal top. Big price difference between those three though. So 
IGL Premier, looking very hydrophobic. G Technic Ultra. Griot's 3 in 1 ceramic spray, doing well. Ammo. And then the three Chemical Guys products. They all look like they're doing just fine. And Ilho, that's our $3.10 shipped coating from AliExpress. You can see that it is adhering. It's also in my graphene products test and it's behaving exactly the same. Good thing we have some consistent results there. IGL Easy Graphene and Lone Star pre-production. So now we will quickly wash it, foam it down, rinse it, foam it down again, and then wash it, see how things are holding up after that. I would suspect that the products that looked weak are probably going to get worse. The rest of them are probably not going to change. If that's the case, I'll just kind of speed through this second part. As a reminder, any of these products you see in this test can be purchased using the Amazon Associates links in the description below, but you can, of course, still find them in the spreadsheet too. It does help the channel out if you use those links. Remember that 100% of the money I receive goes straight back into buying more products to test. And these videos are not possible without your support, so please share and tell your friends. All right, as expected, Seafoam Fast Finish. You gonna, would you call that failed? Yeah, it's still, it's still doing a little bit. We'll call it weak. It's, it's probably not gonna last too much longer just looking at how that's behaving though. Let's jump over here to Fortador. So you can see that the water is adhering to that kind of similar, in a similar way to seafoam there. It's not failed, but it is quickly coming off. So I don't, I don't even know if we, yeah, we can go ahead and mark it weak, but it may stay that way for a while. Apex, DPC, everything else holding up just fine. Avalon King, you can see it's just slightly adhering to it, but it's still extremely hydrophobic. Just something of note. It was just, it's acting slightly different than others. So who are you guys rooting for? You have any surprises, anything like that? So the three that we're marking weak are Ilho, Seafoam Fast Finish, and Fortador. So of note, if you if you saw the install videos, Fortador is also on the far right of the hood that's unlabeled. We're going to reapply it every three to six months as instructed to see if that helps it along. And finally, I do want to take a moment to remind you that if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Smash that like button and of course comment down below. It does help the algorithm. Helps others to see these videos and we, as you heard me say yesterday, we just surpassed the 20,000 subscriber mark last month. I think we're at about 23,000 now. I want to thank you guys all for the continued support. Be sure to, to share these videos and show your support for channels like this.